Okay, so dear students, this is the question. Uh, we are to find out uh, the electric field at the point midway between the charges on x-axis means we have to find out this is the point where we have to find out the electric field. So, uh, we know that the equation for electric field is E1 e, e equals to k q over r square but since there are three charges so it will be e1 equals to k q1 over r1 square then similarly we will have a second electric field for charge 2 and then we will have a third electric field for charge 3 okay students let us call this charge q1 this charge q2 and this charge q3 for our convenience now in this equation we know the value of k we know q1 we know k q2 q3 but we don't know the distances r1 r2 and r3 so we have to work for that uh, dear students for r1 the r1 distance will be from charge 1 to this midway that is let me just mark it this distance let us call it r1 so as this side is opposite to this 60 degree angle so it's best that we use sine theta we know that sine theta is perpendicular over hypotenuse so this is my perpendicular that is r1 over hypotenuse is this side in the question we are given that this is an equilateral triangle and uh, Sorry, I just forgot to uh, mention that this side is equals to 0.5. So, if this side is 0.5, this side will also be 0.5 since it's an equilateral triangle. So, R1 over 0.5 and we will, uh, when we will solve for R1, we will get R1 equals to, what is theta? Theta is 60 degrees. So, when we will solve for R1, we will get 0.433 meter. Right students and for R2 and R3 this is also 0.5 since it's, a, it's an equilateral triangle and uh, uh, this is in the midway means the distance from Q2 to midway will be half of 0.5 that is 0.25 and also the distance from Q3 to this midway is also half of uh, 0.5 that is 0.25 so distance R2 and R3 will be equal to 0.25 meter okay students and now since we have all the values that are required to solve e1 e2 and e3 we just need to substitute the values in our calculator but don't forget to substitute the values in standard units means that it's 8 newton coulomb which is 8 exponent minus 9 it's 5 newton uh, just focus forget this minus just focus on the magnitude right students 5 exponent minus 9 coulomb 3 exponent minus 9 coulomb so when you will substitute all these values in your calculator we know that k equals k is a constant and that is equals to 8.9 and exponent 9 so you will get e1 equals to 144 newton per coulomb e2 will be equals to 1150 newton per coulomb and E3 will be equals to 719 Newton per Coulomb. Right, students? Now for direction, uh, let me just make a... Come to this diagram for the direction. We know that the direction of electric field points away from a positive charge. It's a positive charge, so the direction of electric field will be this. Call it e1 right students it is also a positive charge so the direction of this will be towards this call it e2 uh, it's a little bit messy but i hope you can see and its q3 is negative so the direction of negative so the direction of electric field is towards negative charge so it will be like this e3 towards negative charge away from positive charge and away from positive charge right students so 
what we can say is that we can say we have two fields in x direction and we have one field in y direction so collectively we can say that sum of e x that is the forces in x direction is e2 plus e3 y because these two forces are towards positive x axis right students so it will be 1.87 exponent 3 newton per coulomb at e2 and e3 and for forces in y direction we only have one force in y direction and that is towards negative y axis so it will be minus e1 that is minus 144 newton per coulomb right students now for <clears throat> for a resultant we know that E x is positive so it will be like this E y is negative so it will be like this and we have to work for this resultant let's call it R so because it's a right angle triangle we can apply Pythagoras theorem on it so the Pythagoras theorem is E x square plus E y square equals to R square and then you will substitute the values you will get r equals to 1.88 exponent 3 newton per coulomb and now for direction we can simply say that theta equals to tangent inverse ey over ex we know the values of ey we know the value of ex so it will be tangent inverse when you will divide ey by ex that is uh, this is your ey sorry i called it fx it's ey ey and ex you will get minus 0 0.0769 and it will be equals to minus 4.40 degrees so you can say that er means your resultant force is equals to 1.88 exponent 3 newton per coulomb at 4.40 below the positive x-axis hope you like um, the method and uh, you have understood the question please do subscribe my channel and share with your friends as well